Page 36, Prince of Denmark's March, or a trumpet voluntary. It's a trumpet piece, but it's a march. So you can sort of march to it, I reckon, I suppose. You see in the dates given under the person's name, the composer's name, he lived a long time ago. Yeah, we're talking broke music here. I'll point out a few things. I'm going to start with the right hand. Now again, we're still in the key of C major. We're using white notes unless they introduce sharps or flats, and they do, so look out. But right out the beginning, you're in C position because you put your thumb on the C and the rest of the hands go. Okay, you got it. Watch the slurs and staccatos. One, two, three, four. One and two and so it's second measure, one and two and three, but there's a staccato in the last two notes. So it's one and two and finger staccato. One and two. One and two and three and four. And on hopefully you get the rhythm. Top of page 37. Similar. One and two and. Then they have a trill. A TR means trill. A trill is an ornament. First off, all ornaments are optional. You can leave it out. You can just play the one and two. It's fine. If you want. If you want to do the trill, they're giving you some fingering up there. Three, two, three, two. There's going to be four notes involved. You're here. It's going to be three, two, three, two. That's the trill. It's got to be done in time. So it's one and two and Just quickly do it. It's not the only fingering you can use, but let's keep it simple. Just three, two. So to play that measure, one and two and three and four and like so. Moving on, second line, you got to move your hand up one, so your second finger is on the E. Now you're playing a C, the last note of the first line. So rather than moving the hand, just leave the hand where it is and move the rest of the fingers up so the second finger is on it. So you can play it. And then when you do, you can bring your thumb up. So you're not playing like that. You're just here. And then starting at the second measure there on page 37. Is that well? Now it's an F sharp. But that F sharp is only good for that measure. So the F in the next measure is an F natural. And two and three and four and one. You get it again on the next line. Now, last line. Your starts out with two because you're still in this position. Then for the second E, the eighth note, then with third finger. So you're gonna go here to here. This is very common in piano. You need to be able to do it eventually without even looking. So go back and forth between two different fingers on the same key. So one and two and three and four and one, like so. Left hand, starting at the top on page 36, you got your chord, primary one chord, five, seven chord, one chord without the middle note. And just follow the notes there, you're fine till you get over to page 37, second line. Because you've been in this position, you have a rest there, are two beats. They want you to move your third finger up, so you just put your third finger on the note, and that puts you in this position. And then at the end of the line, they want you to go back down, put your thumb on the G, that puts you back in C position. Then in the next line, in the second measure, they want you to go back up again. And this fun, huh? Then in the last line, last measure, you gotta go back down. One, two, and three, and four, and... Dynamic-wise, you do the dynamics. It starts out loud. Then you get a soft over in the second line on the second page. And Okay, whatever. It gets, gets down. The last line on page 37, you're sort of, I mean, you're soft at the beginning of the line. And then you have that crescendo arrow that you're going to grow and get a little bit louder. Just up to a sort of loud. It's... Plan it out because you don't want to get loud too soon. Save most of your crescendo for the end of it. So it's 
for the last eighth notes in the left hand, you're growing loud again because you're going from medium loud to loud. There's not a lot of difference. But again, save most of it for the last type thing. Just experiment. You just want to just want to hear a little crescendo at the end. Now, at the bottom of page 37, the last measure, you see above it, there's a DC alfine. Remember, DC means go back to the beginning. It's like a repeat sign. Alfine means go to fine. The fine is at the end of the first line on page 37. So, we're going to play page 36, then page 37, then go back and play page 36 again, and the first line on page 37. And that's sort of the roadmap of how we get through this. So let's try this out slowly. We're not going to do a march tempo. I mean, I'm out of regular march tempo. Just think of people marching. Not a fast march, just a march. Let's try this out slowly. I'll give us four counts. That's their four, four time. Just to check the notes and the rhythms. Now, I'm not going to do the dynamics here. You can do the dynamics on your own. And you can speed it up on your own and have fun with it on your own. So you're starting out in C position. Both hands. And here we go. There's no pedal in this. You don't need pedal. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One and two and three, at the bottom of page 36. I'd like to play that. So you play what we just played. I'm going to speed it up a little, a little closer to march tempo. Not all the way, just a little bit. And so you play what you just did, but as usual I need you to go up an octave. So rather than here, go up here. I'll give us four counts and we'll come in together. Go ahead and put your hands where they go. Here. There we go. One, two, ready, go. Oh. 